Hello, I'm Virginia, and welcome to Energy Matters News. The South African government announced plans to construct a 5,000 megawatt solar park in the Northern Cape District. The project will provide a massive boost to the country's economy, creating over 3,000 jobs with the possibility of the site becoming a manufacturing and technology hub for the global solar industry. Minister for Energy, Ms. Deepu Peters, says that South Africa has the opportunity to become a key manufacturer of solar technology, giving international companies the confidence to invest in the country. The New South Wales opposition has called on the state government to shut down its solar bonus scheme, claiming it is responsible for skyrocketing electricity prices. Shadow Minister for Climate Change and Environmental Sustainability, Catherine Cusack, said the scheme must end because it is too generous. However, the Clean Energy Council of Australia disagrees. It says solar power is only a minor contributor to the rising electricity costs, with network upgrades and ageing and inefficient infrastructure being the major reason. With uncertainty of the future of the scheme for new connections, residents of New South Wales considering installing a solar system should act now in case the program is abolished. IKEA Canada is going solar. Several IKEA stores in Ontario, Canada, will be installing solar power systems using 3,790 Sanyo HIT solar panels. The collective systems will have a capacity of 750 kilowatts, approximately the equivalent of the power required for 100 average Ontario homes. Sanyo says IKEA Canada will be the first retailer to exclusively own, install and operate what will be the largest rooftop solar array in the state under the Feed and Tariff program. Google has announced a major investment in the USA's Atlantic Wind Connection power line, which will run nearly 500 kilometers off the coast from New Jersey to Virginia. The line will allow up to 6,000 megawatts of offshore wind turbines, enough to power about 1.9 million households. A recent study has found that investment in offshore wind power in the USA would be more cost-effective, generate more jobs, and be better off for the environment than offshore oil and gas exploration. American troops training to fight in Afghanistan have completed an eight-day exercise in the field using solar power as their only source of energy. The main aim of the exercise was to establish a command center using a range of different solar generators, energy-efficient tents, and water purification devices. President Obama has called upon America's armed forces to switch to renewable energy technology to avoid attacks like the recent petrol tanker bombings on the Pakistan border. Be sure to visit energymatters.com.au to stay up to date with all your renewable energy news.